What's going on, YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and it's time for a narrated Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video. Now, this, once again, is a combination of the Pokemon that I might be using in the Striaton Conference, which actually started yesterday, the day before. Uh, this was a passerby battle. Really fun match. I decided to use my defensive Scallopede as a lead this time, as opposed to my offensive one. This one's a lot more bulky, and we definitely see that here, as it doesn't even take half from my Mammoth Wine Stab Earthquake. Um, this was designed to get up Toxic Spikes and threaten my opponent with a chance of a Baton Pass. Here we see it get both of those. Uh, I, I'm able to get up one layer of Toxic Spikes, which is fantastic because he doesn't have any Pokemon on his team to absorb them. And I'm also able to get plus two from Speed, and I get up a Swords Dance. All in just two turns. That's just fantastic. Now I send it out to Heracross here just so I can get a free Mega Evolve. I know I can comfortably take anything that... Mammoth Wine wants to go for, and I'm able to knock it out very easily with a plus two bullet seed. Now, Mega Heracross having plus two speed allows it to outspeed almost his entire team, barring him having uh, Mega Alakazam. Um, but he does use Mega Caesar, so I don't have to worry about that. But now I know Alakazam is probably sashed, so I have to keep that in the back of my mind during this battle. It's unfortunate that I did not get Stealth Rocks up or have spikes on my Scallopede because if I had either of those, this Mega Caesar would have been dead, and then I would have had a Mega Heracross basically ready to sweep his team. Now I do want to force him to go for extreme speed right here. I could have just switched out into Ferrothorn, but I didn't want to chance him going for Dragon Dance, and so uh, that that I just wanted to kind of force that position. Now here I needed to see if he had Dragon Dance or if he just was going to go straight for Outrage or Dragon Claw, and he does have Dragon Dance. Which is good news for me because now I, most of the time when people face Ferrothorn with uh, weakness policy Dragonite that has multi scale up, they get very greedy. And this Ferrothorn, which I actually bred back in fifth gen, is designed almost basically to be kind of an insurance policy against those. I used to carry a Gyro Ball on it just because of Dragonite, but I switched that out to Power Whip for my uh, team for the in conference because I didn't have that many grass attacks on my team. I might put a gyro ball back on it actually. I'm not sure. But here, just like I said, my opponent does get really, really greedy. He gets up to plus three, I think, plus three or plus four. And um, he's going to end up getting paralyzed several times. I just went for power whip to make sure that his multi skill was broken. There's a good chance he had earthquake, so he wouldn't necessarily touch me to knock me out. And so I'm also able to get up almost all my entry hazards. I have one layer of toxic spikes, two layers of regular spikes, and my stealth rocks up. That That's almost as good as it gets, barring what, sticky web and maybe one or two more layers of spikes on toxic spikes or regular spikes. And since I know what uh, the standard Dragonite thing speed is, I was hoping I could, I could outspeed it with Gudra when he was paralyzed. And I was right, it looks like he was running a much more um, bulky spread at the very least to ensure his weakness policy survival and activation. Uh, Melodic comes in looking like one of the coolest shinies in the game. I see rest and I immediately know that it's sleep talk. I just went for power up to get off some damage. I wanted to see if it had dragon tail or something like that. But the rest sets normally have rest, sleep talk, a water move and dragon tail. This one actually has ice beam and a water move, which is kind of odd. Not the greatest coverage there because as you can see my Star me, Stariana, walls it. So I'm able to get off a Life Orb Thunderbolt. I really like using Analytic Star me. It forces so many switches and being able to get 30% more um, um, damage on your attacks just because your opponent switched is so very nice. It's, you're able to get a lot more KOs that way. But fortunately, I don't get a Scald Burn because that would have, well, it's, it wouldn't have ended up mattering. But you know. No sense in lowering your longevity if you don't have to. Here I did not switch out against the Tyranitar because I was afraid of him using Pursuit. I knew I could knock it out with the Surf. 
but I missed too much with Hydro Pump to be bothered trying to carry Hydro Pump. And he actually does end up going for Pursuit. So I'm happy I stayed in there. I was able to put it in a range where Scallopy because he could easily finish it off. Uh, and it, Tyranitar almost took half of his HP just from switching into entry hazards and poison damage. So that's always a fun deal there when your opponent lets you get up that many entry hazards and they don't have a way to get rid of them. Now, I only have two Pokemon left in my Tyranitar and my um, Gudra, and his last Pokemon is Alakazam. And so here I was really hoping that this Tyranitar would be able to live the uh, Focus Blast, and I am able to. This is kind of a specially defensive, physically defensive build. It's a really weird build. I have eight different Tyranitar, so I was just trying to see which one fit my team better. And I am able to lift the Focus Blast even without max special defense, so that's pretty nice. Um, Gudra comes in, and with Assault Vest, I'm going to be able to very easily take the Dazzling Gleam and finish off the Alakazam. So I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. That was really, really fun. Um, be on the lookout. My next few uploads after I finish my prediction tutorial are going to be Stride and Conference battles. So I hope you all enjoy the tutorial. I will have that finished up hopefully by the end of next week. And wish me luck in the conference. And if you're participating in the Stride and Conference, good luck to you as well. You guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye bye now.